what's up guys this is the Roperman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War campaign and let's do war Empire Dead War let's play is the Kingdom of Mysore there we go and in this episode we've been sieging Istanbul for a while now and the Prussian garrison is now sallying out to attack us so let us defeat them and I think things are generally going quite well with Prussia if we keep our uh, advances to be Measured and intelligent and small and incremental will be able to permanently ratchet back their front line without having to necessarily do thunder runs which might uh, cause some of my armies to be surrounded and destroyed. At least that would be my intention. But at least if we can... well we can at least we can destroy most of the garrison in this fight then my next army can follow up and take the city properly. Oh, it's raining. So let's deploy the guns plus three units in the center. Actually, no, no, we want to deploy back because they've got mortars. If we deploy forward, then mortars inside the city will be able to shoot you. At least deploying back, then mortars will likely not be able to shoot you and they'll have to actually advance put my Sikh musketeers on the right flank We've got Hindu musketeer unit and that's yeah that it's it except some bowmen although we don't actually to cover this flank as well as we may have otherwise had because we've got this lovely defensive position here So let's put two camels on the outside of this defense, outside of this defensive structure, defensive feature. Uh, camels on the other side. And we've got a whole load of melee troops. <laughs> we put some bowmen down behind one of the guns. Because the intention is to make these mortar crews realize standing back is not worthwhile and they decide you know what abandon the guns and push forward they both engage the gendarmerie for now swiss pikes militia citizenry militia mercenaries line jaeger Swiss Pikes. I mean, there's not a lot to be afraid of, but we may as well deploy back and use our advantage in artillery. There's Swiss line back there, but yeah, still nothing to really scare us. Focus our artillery fire on the Swiss Pikes. They're nice and blocked together. There, there's the gun crews. Looks like they're going for my artillery. I suppose that automatic, you know, artillery focus on other artillery behavior is st quite strong. They will get shot down like dogs, however. Volley fire present. Three men shot down. Lost another two, another two. Yeah, there they go. So, as is tradition in these kind of battles, the AI will bounce around and go, okay, this, I'm going to go, I'm going to move my troops over here, I'm going to move my troops over here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. That's very normal. So for now, we're going to start knocking down walls. If they are going to just keep redeploying, we're going to knock down walls. Your armed citizenry and line infantry. Yeah, they're just going to keep redeploying. So we may as well try and make a breach. 
but yeah, I'm gonna chop the recording here and bring you guys back when something happens. So see you in a second, everyone. Interestingly, you managed to kill their general with a stray artillery shot. I think the, uh, the AI was deciding who it was wanted to attack for us. And that's what provoked them to uh, actually attack. I mean, we'll take it. Because now they are actually moving up. It's got this unit attacking this Swiss Pike unit. It looks like you charging. Sometimes the AI suicides when it thinks they've got nothing to do. Hello. Kizobashi, fire at will. This gun team. Trap nor shot. I mean, it might be a bit silly. They pull back. Excellent. So this is the one, the actual general that, that has fallen. So now his drummer leads the charge. He's shooting for this guy. She hit the Swiss line. Go get them, artillery. Good hits. Oh, we killed the general. But it's not an actual general, I suppose. I'm just gonna just keep firing at them. You won't hit them until they cross over the hill. That's okay. No, shrapnel. Shrapnel, the Swiss line. They're in range. And you've got fire. Yes. Concerned under artillery attack. Yes, I would be too. Aim the mercenaries. You may be able to hit them and get some good secondary effects. No, obviously I click it just the wrong time. So they missed these guys and hit these guys behind them. Being backed up in mercenaries and militia. Okay, speed up times right now they're just getting shot by enemy artillery. By friendly artillery, I should say. I am their enemy. Good kills against the mercenaries. Should really focus on the pikes. Probably the same here. If I can break the pikes, then the rest will fall. Sadly, I think your shot's blocked. Pikes are on the charge, but my Sikh Musketeers have, will have something to say to them. And then my Camels are going to charge up the hill against the Irregulars on the hill. Push you guys up first. to chew up the gorillas. It's 
what I was hoping to see. Hands to shot the line. Bring a unit of Hindu warriors over here. So ideally you'll knock out the Jaegers, then go on to the other Jaeger unit. Go for the Swiss Pikes. Just break the Jaeger. Break, shatter them rather. Shattered. Good stuff. Firing into the flank of the Swiss line. You men charge into Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Must to break the Swiss pikes. So the new men go after the militia. They haven't got within bow range yet. Again, just looking to shatter and go after the Hessian Jaeger here. Get my camel's back to go after the regiment of foot. Killing them all is definitely useful, but we're not so bothered about it. Killing the Swiss Jaeger. Making a few friendly fire kills here when people shoot the 83rd. Oh, for God's sake, I hate when that happens. The whole line just goes. So you get weird situations like this. But everyone's mid move. They're shattered. Okay, bring the camels around to attack the militia. Warriors up here to help engage the militia. Kill them. Kill them all. Oh, they're shattered. He chased on the mercenaries. Yeah, my camels will deal with the militia. How about you? Yeah, they're gonna they're going to collapse. This the regiment of line infantry is not going to stand for long. Especially if you guys reload. Experience level 3 Hindu Musketeers. There we go. That should see them break. There we go. Let's speed up time. Yeah, I am going to continue... as many of them as we can. I mean, they're going to escape. I mean, I haven't got very many, very much cavalry, and that's the best unit to send to chase after people. Nice and fast. That's why my Kizilbashi is so valuable.
Keep on chopping. So two men attack the irregulars. There's only one of them left, so you should be okay. And then you got these guys over here who have escaped. But that is the garrison at Istanbul smashed. That's exactly what we want to see. Got lots of troops from Sarajevo. They're kind of scrabbling to try and work out what they can do. They wanted within range. And I think we are going to want to fight them. Because that gives us... That's the garrison at Hanover getting damaged. Plus this depleted unit full of regular cavalry. Let's do it. We do have reinforcements. But I might want to... Swap around some of the units. There we go. Yeah, let's do it. We need to maintain as much pressure as possible against the Prussians for them to start uh, stumbling and falling and finding that we have gaps to advance through. It's very, very helpful for them to push towards like this. The garrison, well, the reinforcing army may throw us off balance somewhat. But I think I might put a fairly austere front line down to face down the enemy, well, the, the, the current enemy, because they've actually got a lot of... They've actually got a lot of uh, cavalry against us, which we're not super bothered about, especially gendarmerie. Okay, let's put something like this down against you guys. Artillery can hold. And then this infantry plus yeah, you, you're selected. This infantry plus all of my cavalry really is going to hold to see what the state of play looks like. Actually, I might put one gun team in the line here. Oh god, oh god, god, god. Send in the melee troops. Jeez, this game. I mean, I didn't anticipate them directly coming in behind us, but this is classic Empire. Hindu warriors engage the enemy cavalry there. Just get the artillery out of the way. My general. Attack the gendarmerie. Because look at this. This is just going to be potentially not what we want. But at least if it, when the enemy breaks, they will retreat immediately. No, nope, because I actually don't shoot. These guys are all fire at will off. Charge the Hindu warriors forward. As soon as you get routes. Oh, okay, you guys know fire will off. Understandably, my lancers, I mean, they're lance cavalry, so this is not very good for them. Because Obashi just hold. Hindu warriors take out the last remaining guys. See, this is where my reinforcements are coming in. So let's just shuffle. These guys are my containment facility. 
Although you guys may actually be able to fire because these are all enemy. My general has fallen. But the intention is that can these guys shoot? Because here is a lot of enemies. They, they aren't ours. So my general got killed by a single depleted gendarmerie unit. So we're shooting lots of them off their horses. The foot guards are being engaged. Actually, they're standing up against us. Get in there, dervishes. Oh, the grenadier, the lifeguards are trying to push out. They are right to. Get in there. I need to get throw more stuff into the into the fight. Let's bring my general. Well, not my, it's not my. He's not my general, but right. All of you, get over here. You man, get over here. Plug this gap and try and drive a wedge. So the enemy lifeguards are winning slightly, but they've lost 80 men. Okay, they're all done for. Get in there. Who's that coming in? Armed citizenry, got superior line infantry. I think my infantry in general needs to kind of mass over here. This is so damn. But in a way, it's kind of what we want. So where's my elephants? I want to make sure my Hindu warriors are down here, that's for sure. Charge into the gap. Just the sheer weight of numbers we can throw into this. Go get him, elephants. They can't, they can't form square right at the edge of the map. Lots of this is enemy cavalry. Gendarmerie, Dragoons. But the lifeguard are wavering. What a lot of little hat. Push forward against the lifeguard elephants. Don't stop. Do not stop. There we go. We've managed to break through into their rear areas. The 102nd Regiment of Foot is now at threat. The lifeguard, they say they're still winning, but there's plenty of infantry around them to cut them down. Charge the cavalry through. These guys might be in square, but they're not in proper square. You get guys into range. Now it's time to engage them. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
give everyone orders to attack the 102nd because we'll run through the 71st. There you go, that the square's going to break. There it is. How about you? Unsurprisingly, they are wavering. Just control everyone. Go get the hundred and second. <laughs> so I didn't anticipate them coming in directly behind me, but I'm glad they did. I mean, it cost me a general, but there's plenty more where they came from. Heroic. I wouldn't necessarily say it was heroic. They had to march very slowly into a battlefield where we surrounded them. And the losses were nearly one-to-one, -one, but we started off with more than twice as many as them. That's right. Scuttle back to Berlin. They're fortifying Copenhagen. It would be useful to take Copenhagen. If we could block off the passage to Sweden, that would make sure that the early troops they've sent over won't come back. And Russia looks like they're deploying more troops to the west, which is good for us. I mean, they're still, and the thing is, they're recruiting troops in the Far East and still pushing them in. So it's not as though they are. It's not as though they're forgetting about it and they're forgetting the, you know, like Kazan and so on to the east and leaving them unused. I mean, the Don and Crimea are usually always vulnerable for Russia. Same with Arkhangelsk. Like, land in those areas, fortify it, and then just build a garrison army, and it'll take them. A disproportionate amount of effort to uh, actually defend them. We are going to have to prepare for the war against Russia. They're not. Uh, it doesn't look like they're letting us off the hook. Or they're, well, they're not going to let us off the hook. But if we can at least destroy Prussia and maintain relatively cordial relations. I can expand in the Americas and then deal with threats there. That would be very, very useful if they would let us do that. It's always a big question, will the AI let you do that? And usually the answer is no. If you want, if you've got a large AI nation and you are the human player and you have a large empire they are almost certainly not going to let you go because your negative diplomatic penalties territorial expansion become so huge there is nothing you can do to, uh, to assuage the other AIs of your guilt even if you make them your protectorate protectorates can still turn on you Uh, so Russia's attacked that small Prussian army. <gasps> no! No, Russia! No! Oh, God! Oh, I hate that so much. It took too long. It took too long. That's what it was. That'll teach me. Those two armies are going to stand there, though, ready to... Uh, push against Istanbul, or if there is a rebellion, I mean, we're going to auto-resolve that, but I'm sure. Yeah, why not? Oh, because it teleported all their armies back to Teleco, and we could have destroyed them. Yeah, oh well, either way. Ah, um, we've got that last slot to take in Brazil, the Brazilian Trade Theatre. Well, there's still that Prussian fleet to deal with. Right, so, first things first. I need trade fleet sail to South America. So 
So let's make sure our fleet groupings are still accurate. Then at the steam dry dock, recruit some fourths. Peace treaty signed with New Spain. That's really hashed my beans. You men are going to stay here and be ready. So you men pull back to Izmir. Heracleon. I mean, let's just get rid of the steam dry dock. We don't need it at all. Greece. Protector of Dagestan. We don't want to start all that yet. Let's push the... You're going to go... Ah, I, I can't go deal with... Actually, what if I just... Request military access. We'll do it for 10 turns. You find them unacceptable, do you? Well, you've just caused yourself problems because now the Prussians are going to come storming through here. Although they may or may not, actually, because you've got an army there ready to take Belgrade. Okay, if the Prussians are on the move, if the Russians are on the move, rather, we need to get a bit more aggressive. So let's deploy these sloops. Combine these armies here. Can you roughly hold Genoa? You're down to minus four, but if I bring you guys across minus two so that's yeah that recruitment should sort things out what about Turin you're probably not going to be able to leave anytime soon minus nine yet yeah. hope you're the same so we're going to start mass recruiting junk we've got a madrasa here in Verona so we're going to send our agent forward to Zagreb Keep the conversion going. Keep converting. That frees you up to head east. I mean, look. hand closing thing is right here. Vienna is right there. So if I take you to engage Eric Weiss, that draws in this force and pushes them back. Make sure you're replenishing. Right, well, one thing I am going to do as well is make sure. So you raid your way up to Odense with support. You cover here. You're waiting for that infantry to catch up. And you push up. You raid Magdeburg, then hold this bridge. You're going to push up. You want to threaten Berlin as well. You're a bit vulnerable. Should they push to attack you? And I may deploy you into the actual fight. If you want extra support, Strasbourg, you can not recruit it. You'll get it from back here. Maybe occupy the star fort. Okay, so everyone's can. Okay, right. right, 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 right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's use you. Well, maybe you've got Gurkhas, elephants. Nah. Okay, right. Let's move you up and attack Eric Weiss. That draws in this reinforcing army and it leaves Vienna right for the taking. And that will be a huge gain for us. If we can take Vienna, especially if Russia is now getting more and more offensive. It remains to be seen how things progress. But yes, if we could take Vienna, Dresden, Berlin, that would be an excellent, uh, excellent uh, boundary between the Mysorean and the Russian empires. Guns on the hill. 
So they may be may deploy here. Bar it will off until we get past the gun line. Mercenary brigade on the right. They're gonna be backed up by an Islamic swordsman unit. Two units in the center with a bow unit. Keeping my both of my 90 size cavalry brigades, cavalry units together. Something like that. Now they're ready. Fired wheel. I'm willing to sacrifice my bowmen. Time to perfection. It's a good amount of their artillery lost. They're, they're pushing their artillery, their horse artillery has just been obliterated yeah, regiment of force, do what you like we got Gurkhas on the moon Go get them, Gurkhas. Oh, they're going to dismount. Perfect. You men hold fire. To be honest, you men both. Both of these units pivot. Push the guns up. Shatting all the enemy that are currently about to sit in a nice little cauldron. Our mercenaries should have formed square. Get you guys in. Bring in the Sepahi. You might going to start. Firing, yeah. Oh, as the shrapnel comes in. Form line, reload. For the curiosity, yeah. heavy cavalry, artillery, just cease fire. To be honest, so now he go for the militia, heavy cavalry advance, but the threaten the Swiss guards. Pull back, push the Gurkhas up. The Kyosier might be my Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. Sorry, Gurkhas. We're just trying to get out of the way. We want the General's Bodyguard Unit. If you can kill them, that would be ideal. I mean, the Swiss Guards are looking very peaky as a formation. Charge! There we go, we're going to hit the line infantry, we're going to hit the marines in the rear. 
gunners. Oh, there's howitzers back here, eh? Oh, that's the reinforcements, isn't it? Charge. Take that, Marines. Attack the horse guards, you've got the marines, but go after the howitzers lest they drop some quick line pain on us. So my general to kill that last marine unit. Yeah, now. Ooh, did he? There we go. Run. It's the ninety seventh Infantry Regiment destroyed. Try kill him. Hey, if you can ride in, you guys just get out of the way. Ah, it's all this this unit now. Jump. Close, Victory. That wasn't close. That was a slaughter. I mean, two to one. It's not bad. Your so you push Vienna. Hold. You men push Hungary. Hold. You know, I wish we could really do with a bit more. Well, I don't, I don't really need support. Especially, look, there's a there's a Russian army right here. Right, so. Let's go Vienna. They don't get any garrison unit apart from firelock armed citizenry. Let's do this. If we can take Vienna and Hungary, that'd be great. We really will be, it'll be a bit of a uh, bit of a recompense to losing Istanbul. But that's what I get for sieging it so long and not actually uh, attacking it. It's my... It's it's a fair cop. But I think we're about to make some good gains against pressure in the north. And we're going to capture some very valuable territories. Not that really money is something we're lacking at the moment. So, two infantry units here. Two, well, two melee units. One to support each breach. Plus two infantry units, support each breach. I'm not going to go so crazy with my outflanking this time because my sort of morale is a bit stickier or a bit of a stickier issue. Let's just make a, make a breach, push it, make another breach pushing. Frankly, with my melee troops, we should be okay here when it comes to getting in. <laughs> Technically, this unit should be should be firing ever so slightly ahead of the others, but they appear to make it appears to make no difference. One, 
good. One last volley. I'll kill a lot of these garrison troops because they've not... Yeah, they did fire slightly earlier this time. Ah! We can go after this breach. Go after this one. Crack our way in. We don't need to worry about uh, don't need to worry about mortars attacking us because they didn't get any. Begin the advance. These guys, I would like to try and see if they could outflank this section of the wall. And let my guys walk, because we're going to make another, make another breach and split their defenders. Yeah, armed citizenry, armed citizenry, one unit of line, citizenry, militia, citizenry. This is very much a people's garrison they're trying to create here. Okay, let's send the Whirling Dervishes up to capture the section of the wall closest to the ramp. I heard a cavalry charge. So they're panicking to hold the breach. Go get him, pikemen. <laughs> Do you think he's good though? He's looking very... He's, he's taking mad risks. Oh, we killed the general, but we didn't... Not THE general. We killed A general. They appear, they appear to want to charge out to meet us. Put my Islamic swordsman in first. They'll hack their way through these armed citizenry folk. They may interfere with our plans to scale the walls. Well, the dervishes don't give a damn anyway. In which case, then come over here and fight the dragoons. We can get two, both our melee units through in this one, which I think we can probably wedge our entire assault force through here. You're going to have to wait and cut your way through. Islamic swordsmen and pikes get in. My my infantry is going to come in. I'm going to leave them with orders to try and run through. These men are scaling the walls nicely, but they've suddenly realised and panicked. There we go. Chug time.
charge down the fire step towards I mean it's unfortunate because look they're gonna a bunch of these are gonna abandon trying to run around and they're gonna try and run through the breach you men keep climbing push the cavalry up Your fire will off. So you guys, if you ever get up here, I'd like you guys to be the ones to shoot down into the fire step. I think I'm probably just going to have to make you melee attack if I want to get some use out of you. Dervishes can run through the gate because the gate is ours. Actually, all the cavalry can run through gates because the gates are ours a lot of fighting over here apparently some of them say they're winning slightly pikemen no once the cavalry gets in here they won't you men engage the armed citizenry. Dervishes get orders to assault the center. Go for the breach, charge at the back of this block here. It's all going to be good stuff. You men go for the firelock arm citizenry. These men have secured the fire step brilliantly. And the skirmish cavalry up here. Just charge into the back of the combat here. Kill the enemy general. You men get stuck in. Dervishes stay here, everyone... Actually, no, you... Skirmish Cavalry stay here. Dervishes and everyone else just come and attack this block of Russian troops because that's the, the last enemy strength, although they are breaking. It's a regiment of horse that charged in. That's what scuppered them. Yeah, the enemy broken, except for this last Biolock Armed Citizenry Unit. Yeah, now it's broken. Excellent. So Vienna is secured. Which is a huge gain for us. Especially we only lost 482 men to get it. Let's replenish, replenish, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. Knock down the university, because that will really help. Actually, it doesn't matter. The university is inconsequential. Okay, let's get my agent from here actually over to Vienna. Because it's Vienna that we really need to start chipping away at unrest. You could potentially build here if we secure it. I'm going to hold here in Zagreb just to see what the Russians do. Diplomacy, Russia, Russia, Russia. Can I please... Well, can I buy... 
Istanbul for 75 grand. No, okay, right, fair enough. I'm not going to offer any more than that. And they don't want to give that away. In which case, then, this age is probably going to go up to here. Actually, no, they're okay where they are. Oh, I need to... This guy. Those are all our ta ta tactical retreats. Let's get him back here to help try and convert Athens. That was really good. We can take Hungary. We will want to take Hungary because if we don't do it, they'll sweep it and attack it for us. Which obviously we don't want. In which case, then you are going to attack Hungary, and we're going to we're going to fight it manually because we don't want to damage this army here. Um, but looking at the timer, we're probably going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Hungary. See you, everyone.